Let's keep Irish Whiskey Month going with the next expression from Spot Whiskies. This is the Chateau Montalena, and it's one of their two wine-finished expressions. So let's get into it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. Last year, I covered the green spot. And then I did the yellow spot, then the red spot, and just last week I did the blue spot. So spot whiskeys are no strangers to this channel. But when you consider their history and their history in wine, it's not a huge surprise to find out that they have some specialty finishes. Now specifically they wanted to work with Irish immigrants. And in the case of Chateau Montalena, the history starts with John Barrett, who immigrated to Boston at the end of World War I. He had a son named Jim Barrett, who in 1972 bought and restored Chateau Montalena in the Napa Valley to all of its winemaking glory. The wine that's used here is Zinfandel, which is this black-skinned grape and gives this deep, dark hue to the wine. And once the wine is done, they ship the barrels up to Ireland to be filled with green spot whiskey. Now, whereas a lot of places will finish a whiskey for six to eight months or so, this is being finished for 12 months and being tasted along the way, as you would expect, to make sure that it's meeting the flavor profile that is Chateau Montalena. Now, Zinfandel just because I personally didn't know. I had to kind of look up what some of the tasting notes of Zinfandel were. And it's a lot of berries. You got boysenberry, blueberry, blackberry, cherry, um, actually licorice, which is not a berry, <laughs> and then uh, cranberry and a couple of others, some just jammy notes, right? Those are all things that you're going to find from Zinfandel and specifically Chateau Montalena. But when you think about those on top of the base that is the regular green spot being lemons and apples and pears. I could see how that would really elevate it to kind of this other layer. I always think about orchard fruits as being a separate layer than berries because you tend to taste them differently when you get into your whiskeys. Speaking of which, let's get into this whiskey. So while I'm pouring, if you are enjoying Irish Whiskey Month, remember to like and subscribe this, uh, more the subscribe. You can like if you like the video, but more importantly, if you just like my style or you like these videos, Go ahead and uh, subscribe. So let's go ahead and give this a nose. Now you guys have told me on more than a few occasions that you can tell just by my face whether I like something or not long before I talk um, or if I'm just trying to, trying to find something nice to say. I think that my smile probably speaks for itself here. This is an interesting nose. So. It smells a bit like an apple -y scotch having an identity crisis. <laughs> so it's got blueberry, it's got raspberry, uh, it does have a little bit of cherry in there. It's also got vanilla notes as well. And uh, you can taste, or you could smell some of the apple and pear and lemon below that as well. This is very much a sum of its parts. It's not that typical synergy that you get when you have like a bunch of good things and you're like, oh, that's a brand new nose or brand new smell, taste, whatever. This is, you could pick out all the little parts. So this is a good one to train yourself on. If you're looking to move past, you know, something maybe just looking at, you know, say bourbons and be like, oh, I, I smell and taste caramel and vanilla and blah, blah, blah. This is something that you could move on to and surprisingly complex for an Irish you could pick out different little things in here and really train your sense of smell. Speaking of uh, training, I, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the segue is there, but I'm gonna have a sip of whiskey. Cheers. Mm. So, the taste here is surprisingly sweet and calm and relaxed. It's, it's good. <laughs> Let's just go with it's good. But it's got this underlying support from that that orchard fruit, the, the apples, the pears, the citrus, lemons that I just mentioned. And it's got a lot of those same nosing characteristics on the palate. So let's just kind of break this down. So we're starting with the, the apples. That's heavy here. It's smooth and it's tasty and it's sweet. Mixed with the pears to give it a little bit more complexity, the lemons start to, to fill out towards the end here. You've got that. Now, as it's starting to dry on your palate, you're picking up more things. You're picking up blueberries to me. I should say I'm picking up blueberries. A little bit of raspberry. A little bit of vanilla. A little different. 
you're getting, let me try another sip here. I always, this, this is something I, I've mentioned on the channel before. A technique that I use is I always stare at something white. I realize it's a little strange. I have a white door right in front of me and I have a white thing right over here too. So if you see me kind of just looking around when I'm tasting, I'm staring at something white because it removes as much other stimulus as I can get. I figure if my eyes are bored, I'll focus more on my taste or my smell. So that's why I do what I do. In this case, so we're moving from, we've got the apples, we've got the pears, we've got the lemon, we've got cherry, we've got blueberry. Um, I'm going to say a little bit of, I'm not going to say any blackberries, but I am going to go with cranberry because there's a tartness that's coming out here. The cherries are more in the realm of a black cherry, and it's reminding me just, just a little bit of Luxardo um, cherries, like maraschino cherry syrup, in that there's, there's a heaviness to the cherry flavor with the blackberry, uh, black cherry that, that you kind of can't mistake. So that's a lot. <laughs> that's quite a bit so a uh, very complicated uh, complex whiskey for an irish and i mean that in the best possible way because irish go out of their way to double triple distill and that removes a lot of a lot of things from their whiskeys in this case the finishing in a zinfandel uh cask or barrel is a great decision i will probably look to see if there's other zinfandel finished whiskeys and if you happen to know any go ahead and put them in the comments this would absolutely get a rating of buy it from me if you enjoy the regular green spot or if you enjoy, let's say, like a fruity scotch. I think this will be right up your alley. And at $68, this is a, a premium product that I think is worth that money. So this gets a buy it from me. And I think that you should check it out. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary. Um, just you know, quick thank you to all of these patrons down below here. I hope I did the right side. I think I did. <laughs> so thank you, everybody who's a patron. Um, if it's a thing that you're interested in or are interested in supporting the channel, go check out the links in the description below. And if not, I will see you at the next video during this Irish Whiskey Month. Have a great rest of your night and cheers.